Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I am going to share my experience with AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate exam. How did I clear this test in 15 days? Which videos you should follow? Which documentation should you refer? And finally, the important one, when, you, when, I mean, when are you ready for this test? How will you know that, okay, this is my right time to clear the test? How will you get that idea? So let me talk about all of these things. And along with this, I'll also try to address two important things. That is, are certifications really useful for getting a job? Like, is it important to have this AWS uh, certifications on your resume to grab the attention of recruiters? And the second thing is, will it change anything for you? Like, I've given this test back in 2022. So after that, did anything change for me? So I'm going to talk about all of these things. Firstly, let me give a background of myself. So basically, I'm a senior software engineer. I've been working with uh, AWS for, I think, over four to five years now. So I started on AWS back in 2018, like my journey. Personally, I started looking into the AWS documentation, trying out things by myself. All of these things from back in 2017, 2018. So it's like almost four to five years. I have uh, experience with AWS. I've been making my own uh, proof of concepts, projects on AWS. So this is my background. Now, let me say, when did I give this test and what all the things that I prepare for this test? Firstly, uh, okay. So if you are not aware of this test at all, so AWS Certified Solutions Architect, like I'm showing you on my screen. So this is basically an exam for uh, certifying a solution architect. And this is at the associate level. So firstly, watch this video that is available on the AWS page. Okay, so here uh, they'll explain you what this test is about and uh, who should actually take this test and what you will learn out of this test. So the fundamental things, if you are going for the AWS uh, Solution Architect Associate, you should have good knowledge with the networking. You should have good knowledge with integration of services. Like let's say there are different components in the VPC itself. So how will the different components in VPC with respect to networking talk to each other? Or are you able to build solutions on AWS? Uh, for example, can you integrate uh, Lambda functions with CloudWatch to uh, trigger a specific action for you know controlling some uh, or God railing something on the AWS? So you should have strong idea on networking, storage, integration of services. Uh, of course, uh, with respect to the EC2 and the other important components. So this is uh, something that you should have in a basic level to start preparing for this exam. Let's say if you uh, don't think you have good knowledge on it, even before preparing this certification, because this certification can go bonkers for some people or some people might find it totally out of head if you have a uh, little experience with AWS. So firstly, start with these things that I told you. And the second thing that you have to consider is the cost of this exam. Okay, so the exam costs you 150 US dollars and it takes close to uh, two more than two hours to uh, finish this exam. So they have uh, 65 questions uh, roughly. Yeah, I think 65. So 150 US dollars. Uh, are you willing to pay this uh, 150 billion dollars? I when when I going to explain uh, the value of this certification, probably you can uh, try to figure out by yourself. Okay, now this is about the test. Now, how will you start preparing for this test? Like I told you, uh, the first thing that you would do is go to the official AWS documentation itself and you should start concentrating on these services. Like you know, uh, you can directly go to uh, AWS uh, documentation and prepare yourself for the networking concepts. What are the storage services that AWS provides? Like, you know, you can go, uh, let's say you want to learn about S3. So go to the S3 documentation. The reason why it is very important to follow the AWS documentation is because of the architecture that they explain, right? So you can buy any Udemy course or, you know, you can go for any other course which claims for clearing these certifications. But the important thing is go for the documentation which, which has beautiful representation of why this service has been created by AWS. Uh, let's say AWS has multiple storage services. What is the difference between creating the other storage service when one service already exists? So this is kind of expertise that people expect, expect from you as a solution architect. So I am definitely not going to recommend anybody to buy uh, courses for this certification at least because uh, you can clear it out by yourself and uh, I have seen one certification course that was going very popular and I tried to look into the content of that uh, certification course and you know it takes a lot of time to go through those uh, video materials because they are very very lengthy and uh, personally uh, they were not even covering the, uh, you know, integration parts of the uh, services. Like they were giving a good idea on the VPC and all, but still uh, 
uh, if you don't know how the internal components or how they are communicating with each other, then uh, solution architect certification uh, will not be a good choice for you. I mean, it will be difficult to clear with that knowledge. Now, once you do this, once you go with the documentation, or let's say that you today you learned a little bit about the storage services and networking services, and you want to evaluate your knowledge. So there are very good, uh, you know, mock tests, or I can call them as practice tests that are available. The first one that I would suggest is, uh, you know, this one uh, here, uh, the, the course is created by John Bonso. I hope I'm pronouncing the name correct, but I'll share the link in the description. It goes by uh, Tutorials Dojo. So personally, I use this one uh, before I gave the test because uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, I was working on AWS. I was doing a lot of uh, practice projects on my uh, free AWS account. And I also have working experience with AWS in my past, organization, past organizations. So uh, for me, the first thing that I wanted to do is evaluate myself for this test. Right. Even before reading the documentation, because I had a prior experience, what I did was on day one, I initially gave a test to evaluate myself. So these are the two uh, resources that I would suggest. One is uh, Tutorials Dojo, where you have a practice test. And the second thing is you have uh, this one here. Yeah, the a Knowledge Hunt by Upgrad. So they also have, I think, five practice tests that you can uh, refer. Like, uh, let me show you that practice test uh, it is very easy to yeah just go to this website which i'm going to share and click on the launch uh, let's start test just you have to sign up for it and uh, then you have five practice tests and they are really good like i have given this test and uh, they might not be exactly similar to what you're going to get but at least they are up to like 70 to 80 percentage of the range of the actual questions that you're going to get in the test so these are the two resources that are used to evaluate yourself it's not like you have to give practice test only once, right? You can give this practice test n number of times. Uh, here you have five practice tests on, on the tech, jo, uh, tech uh, dojo that I shared you. I think you have three to four practice tests there as well. So overall, you get to use some nine to 10 practice tests, uh, which should be more than good for you uh, to decide, like, you know, are you ready to give this solutions architect test or you should uh, still more uh, need more time. So the first thing uh, you should do, I would recommend is write down the list of services, like what are the services that are required for this AWS solutions architect. Let's say uh, you don't have to learn about the uh, AI and ML related service a lot, but instead try to cover the basic services, understand uh, the documentation, architectural diagrams, uh, why the services have been uh, implemented by AWS, what issues are they covering? Uh, for example, you want to learn about Kinesis. Okay. So understand what is the reason for aws to build this tool okay how how it can be implemented in the data engineering process or you know how they can be used with respect to the uh, storage of uh, or you know uh, integration with large systems like uh, uh, hld and lld so you have to understand these things so for that the best thing is again go with the aws documentation only just write down the services and each day read one service uh, official documentation completely with with all the videos that they are providing with all the documentation that they are providing then and trust me, by end of all the check marks, all the services that you have prepared, you'll be definitely ready for this test. You can also evaluate yourself by using this training and certification examples. Okay, so this is about the test. And apart from this practice test, AWS also provides you one, uh, you know, uh, I think it's called as a certificate builder or uh, let me, yeah. So it also provides you a pract uh, practical exam. It's called as a skill builder or, you know, skill set builder. So it charges you 29 uh, US dollars. Trust me, uh, instead of spending money on this, go with the uh, practice test that I've shared with you. That is uh, equally worth, like I, I have given, I haven't given this one, but with that uh, practice test, I was able to evaluate myself with the actual test. And when I gave the actual test, I found these uh, practice tests very, very useful. Now coming to myself, why did I, or uh, how did I clear this exactly in 15 days? So every day I was only reading for two hours. So when, uh, if you want to compare it by yourself, uh, do not do that. Like I will definitely not say that uh, 15 days every day, two hours is like 30 hours. And in 30 hours, you can clear this test or not. Uh, if you have working knowledge on AWS, if you have been working on AWS for two to three years, definitely 30 hours will be enough, uh, like two hours a day, 15 days on one single stretch, you should be able to clear the test. But if you don't have a uh, working knowledge or, you know, you just were uh, going through some practice materials and uh, were just trying with some simple proof of proof of concepts at your end, then take more time, like probably 30 days should be good for anybody 
who wants to uh, give this test 30 days uh, every day 2 to 3 hours you should be able to definitely clear the test with the exam with the help of the practice test that i shared now coming to the actual thing that i wanted to explain or actual uh, problem that i wanted to say is every day i get lots of messages asking abhishek is uh, certifications mandatory are certifications definitely required to crack devops engineer solutions architect job or basic level entry job so what i thought is instead of i explaining about all of these things let me practically show you like i opened naukri.com okay and in naukri.com i just search for devops okay so if you see here i am currently in hyderabad so uh, i just search for devops and it is showing me the open positions for devops in hyderabad the first one is senior devops engineer let's just open this and see uh, is this position uh, expecting certifications in the preferred or desired or any part of it so let me just search for uh, certifications right so so if you see here there is nothing with respect to certification in this one okay let me ignore let me go to the next one okay so if you again search for this there is nothing in the certification and trust me i haven't done any filters like you can see all the filters here i just search for devops see there is no other filter here and uh, i just search for two things you can keep searching 80 to 70 percent of the positions in india okay i'm only talking about the indian recruiters and uh, the positions in the india do not have the certifications in preferred or mandatory uh, sections okay so preferred means uh, people say that okay if you have aws solution uh, software or uh, sorry solutions architect or aws uh, any kind of certifications that will help us so that is called as preferred and mandatory is like you sh you should definitely have it and whenever you are even applying for that position you have to show show them that uh, certification id and all the things most of the positions in india i am talking about india do not even ask for this uh, certifications as mandate if you have it you can project yourself you can have that thing on your resume and definitely it, it will add up like even if you put that on your linkedin so people might just show interest and call you for the interview but during the interview it will not help you in any ways okay and i will not even say that if you have only solutions architect people will call you for the interview uh, i never had uh, these kind of certifications on my uh, resume never before but uh, i i think i interviewed for uh, top top companies and uh, they did not even ask me about the certifications so out of my personal experience also i can share you that certifications if you want to evaluate your knowledge you can ask me the question then why did you give certifications so personally i was never a fan of certifications and uh, even when people used to ask me should i do certifications uh, like i only used to say that if your organization is sponsoring you for the certifications or you are getting some kind of grants for this certification then do it if not i would never suggest anybody for the certifications and personally the reason why i gave three to four certifications i did uh, aws azure uh, and gcp1 so the reason why i did was just to evaluate my knowledge okay so i just wanted to see that okay what are the things that aws solutions uh, software architect associate certification requires uh, so is my knowledge enough for the day so that's the only reason why i did this certifications but personally i was never fan of this certifications and in the indian market till date the date when i am doing this video that is uh, 5th of february the certifications are never mandatory they don't even most of the companies don't even bother about it so 30 to i mean 25 to 30 percent of the companies yeah definitely they will ask you for this certification let's say some startups uh, because they don't want to risk with the candidates they expect this kind of uh, certifications and uh, even some mncs have seen uh, because of the client requirements right not because the company requires it because of the client requirements clients uh, don't want to risk again the position so they expect uh, the com the person who is going to work with the client to have the uh, knowledge with respect to certifications i mean uh, i mean they want to have the certifications so only these categories i've seen uh, people asking for the certifications and if you are talking about the us market i've seen many people asking for it in the us market like i can say it is 50 50 even uh, 50 percent of the companies don't ask for it and 50 percent of the companies ask for it so if you're looking for remote jobs or you know if you're lo if you're uh, located outside india then yeah it might help you uh, uh, like 50 percent of the uh, job descriptions or you know even when i was working with the uh, remote positions i've seen people uh, expecting it uh, outside india but within india if you're trying to switch or within india if you're trying to uh, look for remote jobs then yeah uh, don't bother about it so 
this is the uh, overall things that I wanted to cover as part of the certifications. Yeah, I think I forgot one more thing. Finally, what changed for me or what, uh, yeah, what advantage did I get out of this one is, uh, frankly, uh, I don't see much change. Uh, I did not notice anything changing for me once I uh, once I'm done with this uh, certifications. Only thing is I can just put it up on my resume and say that I've done these certifications, which I don't even know that I'm going to do it or not because uh, personally I don't believe that certifications will uh, you know uh, evaluate a candidate or you know they will help you to uh, describe that you have some knowledge on it. Instead, you can also put those points like. I would say that instead of certification, just put the projects saying that, okay, I have done this thing on the GCP. I've created a sample project. This is my GitHub repository. You can refer this GitHub repository to evaluate me in GCP. That will add more value than saying that, okay, this is my GCP certification and uh, this is my certificate number. You can look into it. Uh, frankly, I would go for the former option saying that uh, GitHub repository, I've done a GCP project and uh, you can refer this one. So these are all the things that I wanted to cover. And uh, one question that I've also got on the YouTube comment section is, is coding required for these certifications? You don't need any in-depth coding knowledge for uh, AWS solution software, uh, sorry, AWS solutions architect associate test. Uh, no advanced coding is required for this. You Even if you have some basic idea on the coding, that should be more than enough. Even for the other certifications, I've done uh, two certifications, uh, three certifications on AWS. Uh, none of them required advanced coding knowledge. So yeah, this is the topic that I wanted to cover. And if you have any questions regarding this, uh, put them in the comment section. If possible, I'll do a uh, YouTube shorts video explaining your questions because many people are asking me these questions. So I thought instead I'll make a complete video to explain you about uh, this uh, test and how to clear this one at all. Okay, so I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, if you have any feedback, put that in the comments. Uh, if you like the video, click on the like button. Don't forget to share this with your friends and whoever is willing to do, do the certifications, definitely share this video with them. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.